me it looks sunny, but it's actually pretty cold. Okay, Monobus versus Matrix. Which one is a better choice for sending your mix to different types of speakers, like the mains and the subwoofers? Both of them have advantages and disadvantages. Like everything else in live sound, it's always a compromise. So you have to think what's better for your situation. Now, I've always been a big proponent of using matrices to split my mix. So I only have to worry about doing a good mix and then split it, do a high cut and low cut on matrices and send it to different speakers. And that's fine. And I still am a big proponent of that. However, I am aware that this is not the best choice in every situation. Most cases, the room you're in doesn't sound that good. It's not well treated acoustically, or the speakers in the room are not tuned to the room, or you have a lot of low frequency feedback and you don't want to send certain microphones to the subwoofer. You have wind and that wind is blowing into the microphones and sending low frequency bursts out of the subs. So you don't want to send certain things to the subs. And if you use a matrix, well, you can't do that because you're sending the whole mix and then you're splitting it. And if you use the mono bus, well, a lot of people do it wrong. And I'll show you how to do it the right way. This is the mono bus, and here's what people usually do. They'll select the channel, go to the main tab, and turn on the mono center button. Or you can do it also from down here, it's the same, and send it to the mono bus. Select another channel. Turn on the mono center and send it this amount. That's good. Let's turn it on and send it this much. The problem with that is that the mono bus is a main bus. It's just like the main left and right. It's a post fader bus. You cannot change the tap point for that. Okay. So what that means is that the fader of the channel affects the level that is going to the mono bus. And so if you send it a certain amount, and then you change the fader that you're mixing with, the normal fader of the channel, it will change the relationship between the level of the main speakers and of that channel in the subs. The better idea is to send it at zero. So you're sending that channel to the monobus, but at zero dB or at unity, whatever you want to call it. And now what you only have to worry about is just mix. Because the fader of that channel will affect this level that is going to the main left and right and to the mono bus the same way. You're just mixing with the fader of the channel. You don't have to worry about the sands. And then you would go to the mono bus, if that's too loud or too quiet, and raise or lower the fader of the mono bus to make the subwoofers louder or quieter. And of course, you can or you should do the EQ, do a high cut at a certain frequency, whatever the frequency is, let's say 800 hertz, fine. And then what would you do with your main left and right? Would you do a low cut on your main left and right? No, that's a bad idea. Okay, I would still use a matrix. Go to the matrix page and select matrix one, go to the config tab and link it to matrix two. Now we have a stereo pair. I'll put it at zero. And I will go to the main left, right, select it, go to the sends page, and send the main left, right to that stereo matrix, also at zero. Cool. Now the main left, right is going out of the matrix one, two. And whatever you are sending to the monobus is going out of the monobus. Now on the matrix, you're gonna do that low cut. So you're gonna go here and low cut. Something important I wanna mention is that using the mono bus hinders your ability to use subgroups for mixing purposes. I, for example, like to do a subgroup for the drums and then do EQ and compression on all the drums together to make it sound good as one instrument and not a bunch of microphones. Am I gonna send it to the mono bus? or not. If I send the whole group to the monobus, well, that's defeating the purpose because I don't want to send the hi-hat and the overhead microphones to the subwoofers. That's the whole purpose of using a monobus, right? But on the other hand, if you just put it on the main left-right and you send the kick drum alone to the monobus, well, 
you are sending an unprocessed version of the kick drum, the monobus, and then sending the other to the left, right, and then they combine together in a weird way, that's up for you to decide. If you don't use subgroups, it's fine, don't think about it. But that, I think, is the biggest drawback of using the monobus, is mixing with subgroups. And so it's not monobus or matrix, it's monobus and matrix. Don't do speaker processing, crossovers, DSP, whatever, on your mix. That's not a good idea. Leave your mix alone. Maybe you want to record it. Maybe you want to stream it somewhere. Maybe you want to send it for someone. I don't know. Do the mix stuff for the mix. Do the speaker stuff for the speakers. Use the correct tool for the job. Now, if you want to learn more about the monobus, click right here. If you want to learn more about the matrix, click right here, and I'll see you in the next video.